Um, and now over to our next presentation. And we're now joined live uh, by uh, Adelaide Calais, who is the Diversity and Francophone Project Manager at Wikimedia France. And uh, they'll be talking to us about uh, Lingua Libre, which is a tool uh, for documenting minority languages on uh, Wikimedia projects. So over to you, Adelaide. So thank you, Daria, for introducing me. Sorry about the little mic glitch. Um, I'm delighted to be here today and to be talking about Lingua Libre. Um, I will now share my screen and talk to you a little bit about it before I show you how it works. Whoop. Uh, so Lingua Libre uh, was designed as a tool to document uh, linguistic diversity, as we've seen in previous presentations. Creating a Wikipedia can be hard, especially if you have few speakers in your language. Um, it can also, I mean, it requires a lot of written sources. Uh, and so we designed Lingua Libre as a way to sort of get your foot in the door of Wikimedia projects. Um, it's, it's, we thought about it as a start, something to get people started on Wikimedia projects, um, but also a great way to document orality, which is seldom ever seen on Wikimedia projects. So the goal with, was both to document orality and have a way to um, just save those treasures um, and a way to engage people who uh, might not otherwise have gone on to the Wikimedia project. Uh, we'll see later the challenges that that brings to us today. Um, now, Lingua Libre is um, good for about three reasons. Uh, first, it's very fast. It's easy to use and it's fast. You can record ab about 300 words per hour when you're a beginner. And when you're really um, used to it, you can go to about 800 to even 1,000 words per hour. Um, it's also under the CC by SA free license. Uh, so that can be that means that the recordings can be reused on any kind of Wikimedia projects or even on your own. If you're a speaker of a minority language and you're already doing a lot for it and maybe you have a website or another project, that means that the recordings that you make for Lingua Libre can be reused um, on your other projects as well. Um, and Last but not least, uh, we have three bots that are working on Lingua Libre at the moment, and we would love to develop more of them. Um, the goal for these bots are to automatically reuse the recordings on Wikimedia projects. Um, one of the bots uh, of, um, is on the French Wiktionary. <laughs> So any word that you record in French on Lingua Libre will then be added within um, between a couple of minutes to a few hours on the French Wiktionary on the uh, corresponding page. It's also true for the English speaking Wiktionary. Um, and we have uh, a bot that works with, um, that of course puts the recordings from Lingua Libre onto Wikimedia Commons, which is where they are stored. Um, that also means that when you record, for example, 300 words per hour, uh, and it's then automatically um, it, tele <laughs> teleported, uh, imported onto Wikimedia Commons, it means that uh, it's a massive uh, import. And therefore, if you want to do more than 300 words at once, you need to require the auto patrolled status. Um, so this is something to pay attention to. Uh, if you're a beginner, if you've never used Wikimedia projects before, don't record more than 300 words at once uh, because then you will run into some trouble. Uh, and if you want to do more um, and quicker, you can require the auto patrolled status, just ask the community. Um, I will now show you how Lingua Libre works. Um, so this is the website. Uh, the, um, the first page shows you uh, the last recordings that have been made. The last two recordings were in Breton. Um, 
to record on Lingua Libre, you click on the record wizard, but you cannot go, you cannot record any words unless you're logged in. So you go here on your login um, icon and record through your Wikimedia account. This is what I just did. It sent me through the Wikimedia Commons account, asked me to log in, and that's what I did. Uh, if I go to the record wizard, now that I'm logged in, um, I will have five easy steps that are mapped here. Uh, the first one is to test my microphone. Um, I can hear it in my headphones. Um, and, and you won't hear it, but, but it's fine, it worked. This is my profile. This is important because um, Lingua Libre's goal is to document languages and we need um, some meta information around your recordings to help contributors or readers to make sense of it. So the first one is your gender. Then your spoken languages will have an impact on the languages that you can record in. So list here the languages that you speak. And then your place of residence is very interesting to us because uh, if I'm recording in German, for example, the and I and I mentioned that I'm from France, uh, the recording will perhaps not be used the same way or listened to the same way um, as if I had written that I was from Germany. So that's interesting. The license here, you may choose between a, a few of them, but they're all Creative Commons. Um, and then next step. Um, this is um, the place where you create your list of words to record. You have four different ways, well, five different ways to create that list. The first way, which is not here, um, is you can just type the words that you want to record. Um, so I can type dictionary, for example, any kind of, any kind of <laughs> word, I don't know. Um, and, and every time just press enter or use a semicolon. I think, um, between your, your words. The second way is to use local lists. Local lists are pages that exist on Lingua Libre that you or someone else have created where you've listed words. Uh, so if I use the list uh, simple words, for example, um, I can click on done and then it will add the words here. Any, any word that you don't want to record you can click on the little bin here to um, erase. Uh, I will now clear it because there's too many here. The th third way to record, um, well, to make your list is to use your coordinates uh, or the location of your computer uh, um, and search through Wikidata. So if I do this, for example, it gives me uh, places uh, around me, place names around me um, that I can record. Um, and if I so I'll clear that again, uh, I can use a Wikimedia category to do that. You select the language that you want to record in, the projects that you want to, in, to um, search. Uh, and then, so column, category, another column, and then the name of the category. So if I say geography, for example, uh, and don't click here because it won't work, um, but just leave it this way. Um, and, we should, and it will then search for the category on Wikipedia and give you words that are in this category. Um, last but not least, you can use external tools. Um, this is new on Lingua Libre. Um, so if you're using PetScan, for other projects, uh, or if you're familiar with a Wikidata query service, you can use it um, through this tool. Um, and I wanted to mention two other things. The first is you can mix ways to make your list. So for example, here I've used the Wikimedia category, but I can also add nearby places um, and just it will just add them to the list here and I can then, for example, shuffle the list so that it doesn't get boring and it mixes the different um, topics. Uh, the second thing I wanted to mention was this is a very important field. Uh, this uh, is where you mention the language that you're recording in and if 
uh, this isn't right. If, for example, so here I'm, for example, I've selected place names that are in French. La rue Rudolf Nourief is one of them. Um, and here I've got English. Um, this, I mean, this could be bad, um, especially if I make a much bigger mistake, which would be to type um, words in French here, for example, um, like common words, not place names, but common words, and then uh, have English here, because your recordings will be sorted out in Wikimedia Commons um, according to the language that they're in. And this is what tells Wikimedia Commons um, what language your recording is in. So the danger is that these recordings might be misplaced if I don't mention the right language here. So, um, back to um, recording, if I say this, yes, let's stick with it. Uh, once you've got your list here, um, you move on to the next step, which is the studio. Uh, now, this will not start the recording until I click here, but once I've clicked here, the studio will automatically detect when you're making a pause between words, and so it will automatically go from one word to another. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that we usually record words in Lingua Libre, but you can record sentences, uh, expressions, um, yeah, small paragraphs. Uh, if you don't want the studio to move on every time you make a pause because it's a, a long sentence, for example, you can um, change the settings here, which are um, the settings of how the studio detects that that pause uh, it means that it should move on to the next word or recording. So here the pause detection is quite short. Um, and I'm going to show you now. I'm going to click once and it's going to go through all of the words. Mainland, population density, mountain pass, geographic region, map, geopark, hermit kingdom, governmentality, Geoarchaeology, spatial mismatch. Now, I've only clicked once, it's recorded all of them. I can, well, it, it is uh, strongly advised to listen to your recordings and to check them before you upload them to Wikimedia Commons, because especially if you're speaking a minority language, um, there might not be other people to uh, check your recordings. Um, and, and even if you're recording in English or in French or German, um, and, and there are other um, contributors, it takes a, a long time to check other people's recordings and uh, it's much easier to do it for yourself. Um, so check for, for example, clicks, glitches, or sometimes the studio will sort of, um, sorry, move uh, before you're done pronouncing your word or will or, or there'll be a, a small mismatch between your recording and how the studio moved on so check it um, mainland and if you're not happy with something you can always re-record it by clicking on this little turning arrow um, so if I do this um, geographic region you, you can start again uh, and if you don't then it will just um, move the nine out of ten uh, words to the next step. Yes, it's asking me if I'm sure. I am. Mainland. Um, once you're here, it's another... Um, it's kind of the last opportunity to check your recordings. Um, so you, you can do so by clicking here quickly. Um, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to um, erase those because I'm not sure of how they're supposed to be pronounced. Um, and then I'll just upload the first five ones, the five first, anyway, um, publish on Wikimedia Commons, and this will upload them. You can see that it's um, turning and it's, it's, um, it's uploading them. 
Uh, when you have one recording like this one uh, that has a, an exclamation mark, it means that the uploading was not successful. All you have to do is uh, retry it, and usually it works on the second try. Um, there you go. Uh, so now my words are on Wikimedia Commons, um, and I can either go and check them on my uh, contribution page on Commons, or I can go back to the list of words page by clicking on record more words. Uh, if I go to Wikimedia Commons, this is the list of words that I've recorded. You can see here why I was insisting on choosing the right language because the way that your words are stored on Wikimedia Commons is through uh, LL, which is Lingua Libre, um, a code for your language, uh, then the, your, your username, and then the spelling of the word or expression. Um, of course, these files can be reused anywhere you want. Uh, just copy the URL somewhere. Um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, one thing is there is currently no mechanism uh, to prevent you from closing the page at any given moment. So um, we've had contributors have problems with this before. Uh, don't close your tab or be careful not to close your tab, for example, when you're at the publish <laughs> phase and you've recorded all your words. Uh, there is nothing that will say, are you sure you want to <laughs> close your tab? This is something that we will work out, uh, work on as soon as we can. Um, to finish, um, I mean, to, 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 yeah, to round up this presentation, um, there are other pages on Wikipedia, on Lingua Libre. Um, than the record wizard. There's a discussion page where you can ask any question that you've got to the community. Uh, just click start a new di discussion. We usually speak in English on the discussion page, um, but I, I'm sure that if you write a message in another language and mention the language that you've written in, people will try and, and um, translate it and, and answer you. Uh, there's a statistics page uh, where we have uh, statistics of the month, and we try to um, gamify it a little bit by showing uh, who the most prolific speakers are from this month. Uh, at the moment, it's taking a while uh, because we have a yeah, we have quite a few recordings. Um, and then yeah, there's a help page if you have um, anything that you're not sure about, but you don't want to ask a question on the discussion page. You'll have topics here. Um, and, and that's it for today. Um, so to, um, give you a, an outlook on, uh, how many recordings we have on Lingua Libre and on the challenges that we're facing, uh, currently there are 120 languages that have at least one recording on Lingua Libre. Uh, we have about 500 contributors um, and more than 500,000 recordings. Uh, considering that Lingua Libre was at 400,000 recordings in February, this is good news because it means that in three months, three or four months, uh, we've had 100,000 more, uh, which is great. Uh, Lingua Libre is three years old. Uh, and the challenges that we're facing at the moment are that within those 500,000 recordings, there is more than 100,000 that are in French, for example, which is partly because Wikimedia France developed the project. And so um, the community that got, that engaged with it first was the French community, the French speaking community. Um, but the other challenge that we have is that there are minority languages that have recordings on Lingua Libre, but they have few recordings. They will have up to 50 recordings, 100 recordings, and we would love to see more of those. Um, it's it's something that we are really looking to do in the in the near future, which is to try and reach out to uh, minority language communities to uh, yeah invite them to contribute to Lingua Libre. Um, right now, the communities that have more than 300 words recorded on Lingua Libre um, are <laughs> well. 
situ situated like this. We are very happy with the development of strong um, communities in India this last year, this past year. Um, and, and we'd love to see this happen in many other parts of the world. So please take it up, start recording, um, and feel free to come and chat with us on the, the Lingua Libre chat room, the discussion page, uh, or to contact us. Um, so you have here the Lingua Libre email list, uh, but also the usernames, uh, user names of um, two major contributors on, on Lingua Libre. Um, and there are many more, of course. Uh, well, thank you everyone for listening to me. Um, and I'll now hand it over to, uh, yeah, question time. Sure, I'll stop sharing my screen. Um, we don't have um, much time uh, left, but your presentation has generated quite a lot of interest. So I will just <laughs> borrow a few minutes. Um, uh, one topic of conversation quite active on the YouTube channel was just asking in the audience whether people are using uh, Lingua Libre, how are they finding it? And interestingly, there's quite a few people that have been interested for a long time or did a little bit and have always been meaning to do more. more. <laughs> and so I guess my uh, question would be, uh, what's your advice? How would it be? How, what's the easiest way, the most um, time efficient way to mm -hmm. do this? Or if you can offer any support for people if they see the value but are struggling to find the time? Um, I'd say you can go to Lingua Libre um, in two two different ways. You can either decide that you're going to um, uh, ask for the auto patrol status and do a bunch of recordings um, in, a, in, a, in a short time, um, once in a while, or you can decide to um, do it rather often, but with a few words at once. But I'd say that the basis for doing this um, consistently is to have um, a document with a, basic, a, a, a lexicon, can, can you say that? Um, um, a dictionary or a lexicon, yes. <laughs> um, to help you because making lists yourself is very time consuming and it's difficult. So if you have a list at hand, a dictionary that already exists or, or yes, any kind of um, school material, for example, with uh, lexicons, uh, that could be really useful to start to get started. And uh, the other fairly specific question, but very relevant to the audience here, is around how you would um, classify languages. Um, there's one specific question about how would you handle loan words, so from one language to another, or um, I think somebody was asking about uh, dialects as well, and how you would classify the words mm. that you are recording. Um, so we use um, the, the, well, actually, Vigneron has answered the question in the chat, um, but we, we use the system that's used on Wikidata. So any language that uh, has um, a cat, well, uh, that is mentioned on Wikidata, we can, we can record on Lingua Libre. Um, if it's a language that you can't see directly on Lingua Libre when you get there, which can happen, go to the discussion page and say, hey, my language is not on Lingua Libre, do something, please. And, and we will add it. Um, we'll be delighted to do it. Mm. So I guess it means that uh, putting things on Wikidata is also important yes. for, for a <laughs> language. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Um, I think we will uh, stop here. But if there's more questions, um, I think there's been contact details to Adelaide for the um, Lingua Libre. Perhaps we'll circulate them as well if anybody yeah, wants to follow up. Um, but for now, we are at the start of our one hour uh, break, which you can use as you wish, perhaps as a 
break, which would be a good idea, but uh, there's also many other options, especially on the Kiko Chat uh, platform, like uh, the music room that has been used already, the social room where you can relax or talk to others uh, with a video. It would be quite nice to exchange. You can, of course, watch the video pool because there is a lot of presentations that have been submitted to the conference that we're not presenting live, but they're available to watch for you anytime. And there's also, as mentioned in the beginning, within the Kiko Chat platform, um, a language hub discussion space um, where you can dig deeper into your ideas of how languages should be supported within the Wikimedia broad strategy. Um, so we will be back here at uh, 3 p.m. Central European Summertime, and we will kick off then with a panel debate with colleagues, experts in Arctic languages. And I'm excited for this because there will also be participation from the SOAS University of London um, that we're uh, working with at Wikimedia UK. So I hope to see you there and enjoy your break. Thank you. Thank you, Doug.